Hi, I'm Matthew Gardner. And I'm Maggie Boland. Today on The Signature Show, we are excited to announce our thrilling return to live theater. We're reopening Signature with a robust six show season beginning in November, 2021 and running through the fall of 2022. The season features exhilarating musicals and remarkable plays with Signature's trademark mix of classics and world premieres that showcase engaging and diverse stories that will have you laughing, reflecting, and relishing the joys of live theater. We will reopen our doors in November with a reimagined production of Jonathan Larson's Rent. The iconic rock musical will be boldly and immersively reimagined in Signature style. I will direct with choreography by James Alsop and music direction by Mark G. Meadows. Rent defined a generation and feels incredibly of this moment. In Jonathan Larson's own words, in these dangerous times where it seems the world is ripping apart at the seams, we can all learn how to survive from those who stare death squarely in the face every day. And we should reach out to each other and bond as a community rather than hide from the terrors of life. Here to sing the show's most iconic song are Vincent Kemsky, Jimmy Mavrikas, Devon T. Moody, Crystal Mosser, Ines Nassara, Solomon Parker III, Nova Y. Payton, Awa Salseka, and Chani Worley, with music director Mark G. Meadows on piano and Dante Pope on the drums. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes. 525,000 moments, so dear. 525,600 minutes. How do you measure, measure a year? In daylights, in sunsets, in midnights, in cups of coffee, in inches, in miles, in laughter, in shy. 525,600 minutes How do you measure a year in the life? How about God? How about God? How about God? Signature will reopen the ARC Theater in February with the DC premiere of Daphne's Dive by Chiara Alegria Hudes. Here to tell you more about this DC area premiere is the show's director, Paige Hernandez. Hey there, my name is Paige Hernandez, and I'm so excited to share that I will be directing the first show back in the ARC Theater, entitled Daphne's Dive, written by Pulitzer Prize award-winning playwright Chiara Alegria Hudes who you might know as having written another play called In the Heights. Mm -hmm. So you can expect something just as powerful and meaningful. 
Daphne's Die for me is really the intersection of community and family and neighbors as they all meet at the local watering hole, mm -hmm, a bar, a bar that's based in Philly with roots in Puerto Rico. So you can expect a show that is culturally mindful and vivacious and vibrant as we see the unraveling of so many different characters and how their stories are all woven together. Characters like a woman who runs her own business, an activist, an abandoned teenager, a businessman, and so many more. Daphne's dive really reminds us that we need community, we need each other, and hospitality can be so impactful, especially when every pore comes with a little heart. <laughs> and I'm so excited to be back in person, back with live theater, mostly to be in community again with you. I'm so excited, and I can't wait for you to experience Daphne's Dive. Next up in the Max is the romantic and effervescent musical comedy, She Loves Me. In a charming 1930s European perfumery, two sales clerks spar endlessly, saving their sweetest words for an anonymous pen pal. Unbeknownst to them, however, their dear friend happens to be each other. The musical is a joyful, transcendent, and perfectly crafted escapade. The production will be directed by Matthew Gardner and choreographed by Kelly Crandall Dambois. Here to sing the show's title song is Austin Colby with music director John Kalbfleisch on the piano. She loves me, and to my amazement, I love it, knowing that she loves me. She loves me, true she doesn't show it How could she, when she doesn't know it Yesterday she loathed me, bah Now today she likes me, ha! And tomorrow, tomorrow oh, My teeth ache from the urge to touch her I'm speechless, for I mustn't tell her It's wrong now, but it won't be long now Before my love discovers that she and I are lovers Imagine how surprised she's bound to be She loves me She loves me I love her, isn't that a wonder? I wonder why I didn't want her. I want her, that's the thing that matters. And matters are improving daily. Yesterday I loathed her, bah! Now today I love her, ah! And tomorrow, tomorrow, Delicious tingles and trembling. What the hell does that mean? I'm freezing. That's because it's cold out. But still, I'm incandescent. And like some adolescent, I'd like to scrawl on every wall I see. She loves me. She loves me. As always, Signature continues its commitment to the development of new musicals and plays. This season, we will produce two world premieres. First up in the Arc Theater is a new play by Chelsea Marcantel called The Upstairs Department. This play is part of the Heidi Thomas Writers Initiative, a multi-year commitment from the Jenna and Paul Siegel Foundation, supporting world premieres by women playwrights with women directors. Here to tell you more about the play is playwright Chelsea Marcantel. Hi everyone, my name is Chelsea Markintel. I'm a playwright. Uh, I am here at my home in Los Angeles and I'm very excited to tell you about my play, The Upstairs Department, which will have its world premiere as signature in the spring of 2022. 
The Upstairs Department is a play that's about grief and grieving and the aftermath of a loss, but it's also about the relationships that remain in the present and how we sort of reconfigure those relationships around uh, grief. It is also uh, a comedy. I know that that sounds pretty down, but it's actually, it's funny. It's about a, a pair of siblings, one of whom wakes up from a coma and believes he can talk to the dead, the other of whom does not believe uh, that her brother now has psychic powers. So they go on a road trip together to Lilydale in upstate New York to sort of test it out and see what they can find out about this new reality that they're living in. And um, I, I am super excited to be working with DC's Holly Twyford, who is directing. It's gonna be a lot of fun. She and I just met working on this project and get on like a house on fire. And I love working with Holly. I'm super excited to bring this show to life together. So be sure that you subscribe to Signature Season so you can see the upstairs department and all the rest of the awesome plays that are in the lineup. And I will see you at the theater in spring of 2022. Next up in the Max will be the new musical, We Won't Sleep, by composer Ari Afsar and America's most produced playwright, Lauren Gunderson. Directed by Aaron Ordman and choreographed by Usha Marie Sorzano. Here to tell you a bit more about this exciting new musical are Lauren and Ari. Hi, my name is Lauren Gunderson, and I'm coming to you from Ohlone Land here in San Francisco, California. I'm so thrilled that Ari and I and our whole incredible team will premiere our new musical, We Won't Sleep, at The Signature next spring. Hello, my name is Ari Afsar, and I am in Los Angeles, the lands of the Tongva peoples. I am the composer of We Won't Sleep. This musical tells the true story of Jeanette Rankin, who was the first woman elected into US federal office four years before the ratification of the 19th Amendment, which gave white women the right to vote. Our musical swirls that story from the past into themes, styles, and truths of the present with big characters and exhilarating contemporary music and choreography. This musical aims to engage all audiences, disrupt, history and highlight the importance on the continuation of fighting for equitable voting rights. Our show reminds us of the power of representation, of ambition, of family, and of one person's vote. We can't wait to see you at the theater for the premiere of We Won't Sleep. Thanks, Lauren and Ari. We'll feature a song from this exciting new musical at the end of the Signature Show. Finally, beginning in August of 2022, Signature will present the musical adaptation of the Pulitzer Prize winning novel, The Color Purple. Directed by Timothy Douglas, choreographed by Dane Figueroa Ididi, and music directed by Mark G. Meadows, The Color Purple brilliantly illuminates the lives of Southern black women in breathtaking scope. The production will star Felicia Curry as Seely, a woman who encounters oppression, despair, and heartbreak, but also discovers hope in a group of friends who inspire her to find her voice, discover her beauty, and change her life. Here to sing a song from the musical are Felicia Curry and Nova Y. Payton. Is that me who's floating Lifted up to the clouds by a kiss, never felt nothing like this. Is that me? I don't recognize. Love's the one thing I need all about. I had it all figured out. But what about trust? What about trust? about tenderness. tenderness what about tears when I'm happy what about weeks when I fall I want
want you to be a story for me that I can believe in forever. And what about, what about love? Will you be my light in the storm? What about joy? What about joy? What about tears when I'm happy? What about weeks when I fall? I want you to be a story for me that I can believe. We are thrilled to announce that starting in December, Signature will produce the Broadway-bound musical K-pop at the Anthem. This exhilarating show extends a backstage pass inside the high-stakes world of the Korean pop music sensation that's sweeping the globe. With a book by Jason Kim, music and lyrics by Helen Park and Max Vernon, and directed by Teddy Bergman, this multimedia experience explores the relentless discipline, raw talent, and commercial ambition behind the heart-pumping international phenomenon. If you haven't been to the Anthem, it's a beautiful venue on the wharf in Southwest DC, which provides the perfect showcase for this new musical. We'll announce the on-sale date for tickets to this special production at a later time. K-pop is fun. K-pop is fashionable. Edgy. Catchy. Futuristic. Surprising. Exhilarating. Moving. Colorful. Infectious. Warm. Heartfelt. K-pop is theater. K-pop music is a musical genre originating from South Korea, and it's become such a global phenomenon. And musically, it draws influences from hip-hop, R&B, jazz, classical, you name it. K-pop the musical is Broadway meets K-pop. Both these genres bring people together despite the difference in cultures and languages. I always wanted to represent an experience like mine and Helen's on stage in a big, big scale. I think that some of the themes that K-pop addresses are individualism versus collective and work versus family. And then this really interesting question of uh, if you are a global public figure, like, can you really have genuine connection with other people? Can you have a normal life? I would say K-pop is also about discipline. It's about relentlessness. It's about passion, ambition. But as Helen said, it's mostly about family. It's about what it means to be somebody special, somebody who's under the microscope of the entire world, who wants to experience genuine connection and human emotion. The audience can expect to see jaw-dropping talents, Asian talents, Asian triple threats right in front of their eyes. But most importantly, they can expect to dance. But whether it is my mom who barely speaks any English or a 14-year-old American girl who speaks fluent English, you should be able to enjoy it regardless. You can expect to laugh, you can expect to cry, you can expect to dance, and leave becoming a fan of K-pop. I grew up listening to K-pop. K-pop is like home to me. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. <laughs>
We are excited to expand Signature's reach beyond the Max and Arc feeders with these exciting projects. Signature is also continuing our robust commitment to education programs this season, including our annual Signature in the Schools production. Here to tell you a bit more about Signature in the Schools is Director of Education, David Zobel. Hi, I'm David. Now in its 27th year, Signature in the Schools is a program unlike any other. A world premiere play written by a professional playwright with a professional design team featuring a cast and crew of Arlington Public Schools high school students and one professional actor in the cast. Seeing these students shine in their first professional experience is always inspiring to behold. But Signature in the Schools is not just about putting on a play. It's a program that has become known for having important conversations through theater. Every Signature in the Schools production takes the Arlington Public Schools English and Social Studies curricula for inspiration. In recent years, we've looked at the New Deal and its contemporary relevance, civic engagement and the power of the vote, freedoms of expression, and the global refugee crisis. The students and the professionals they work with aim to change the world with the productions they're making. We could not be more proud of their work. While the 2021 production was a virtual one, we are excited to bring Signature in the Schools back to the Max Theater in 2022. In January, local students will come to Signature on field trips to see the latest production. Their tickets, transportation, pre-show workshops, and online study materials will all be provided free of charge. But there will also be two evening performances for the public. And while we aren't ready to announce all of the details for this production, we hope that interested students will be ready to interview and audition on September 24th, and that audiences will mark down January 24th and 28th for the public performances. We look forward to seeing you at the theater for Signature in the Schools' next revolutionary performance. All of us at Signature can't wait to share this vibrant season with you. And rest assured that when we welcome you back into our spaces, the safety of our patrons, artists, and staff is our top priority. We are implementing flexible ticketing and refund policies, e-tickets and touchless payments, and a mandatory vaccination program for all staff and artists. We will follow the county, state, and CDC guidance regarding the wearing of masks. If it is recommended at the time, we will require all audiences and non-performing employees to wear them. We are planning to open with full seating capacity, but we will monitor the conditions and adjust our plans as the situation requires. We hope we will be able to open Ali's Bar and offer our usual food and drink and cookie options. But again, we'll be watching the situation carefully and we'll follow expert guidance. Throughout the coming months, we will continue to update our safety plans online. You can visit sigtheater.org slash safety for the most up-to-date policies and procedures. We are still a few months away from the time when we can all be back together at the theater. Everyone here is working furiously to make certain that you have the best possible experience when you return. Until then, we hope you continue to enjoy the remainder of our signature feature season, including the thrilling song and dance extravaganza, After Midnight, starring Hamilton's Christopher Jackson and directed and choreographed by the phenomenal Jared Grimes. Broadway World called our streaming production a roaring success with over-the-top performances, fabulous design, and swinging music. You can purchase a ticket to stream After Midnight on demand through August 4th. And on August 2nd, we will release Dominique Mauriso's searing play, Detroit 67, directed by Candace C. Jones, which will stream on demand through mid-September. Thanks for watching this special episode of The Signature Show. We want to thank all of you who have helped to keep Signature strong over the last year. And we want to say a special thank you to all of our season sponsors, whom you'll see on your screen now. We can't wait to see you back at the theater. To sign off, we're proud to showcase composer Ari Afsar alongside Vincent Kemsky, Jimmy Mavriquez, Devon T. Moody, Crystal Mosser, Ines Nassara, Solomon Parker III, Awa Salseka, and Chani Worley, performing the title song from the world premiere musical, We Won't Sleep. We've been trying, woman, a child, Come make it easy, cool, live in denial We saw the world end, but it keeps spinning Whether we're losing, whether we're winning 
then they start to fade while I wide awake and feel alive. Been staying up late, cause we know the stakes of losing the light. We won't sleep, oh, they'll try to get us, but we gotta reach, I reach out for love. We won't sleep, no, not till it's over Even with the blurry eyes Babe, we won't compromise I dreamed in color when I was younger Painted a picture, one hand in the other Now I see shadows outside my window But I won't close them, no, not when we know the pride say we got no time but the building's gonna rise it's not too late to realize we can be the first not be fooled by words finally gotta learn how to wake up and change the world we won't sleep ah, they'll try to get us but we gonna reach out reach out for love we won't sleep no Till it's over, even with the blurry eyes, baby, we won't compromise. We won't sleep. Oh.